I suppose we have a supply curve that looks like this. It's, it has a slope of one starting at the origin. And what we want to do is figure out, well, what is the change in total surplus, or sorry, producer surplus if the price goes from uh, $10 to $20, okay? So we want to find the change in producer surplus going from $10 to $20. Now, remember, producer surplus, uh, how we find that is by finding basically the area below the price, whatever the price level is, below the price, uh, and above the supply curve, right, uh, all the way to the quantity that is supplied. And the reason that we do that is because, again, uh, revenue is price times quantity, right? So this rectangle here, when the price is 10 and the quantity is 10, that rectangle there represents revenue that the firm is earning when they sell 10 units for $10 each. And then the, uh, the uh, variable costs are actually represented by the height of the supply curve, well, it's a marginal cost, but if we take that triangle underneath the supply curve, that's variable cost. And so what we're left with after we're taking revenue, the rectangle, and then subtracting off the lower triangle below the supply curve, then we're left with producer surplus, right? Producer surplus is kind of the bonus that the, that the firm gets from supplying those units at that price, right? So we have out, outlined here in blue, that is the producer surplus when price is $10, right? When the price is $10, you go to the supply curve, that means that this firm wants to supply 10 units at that price. And then of course, the, the producer surplus at that price and quantity is the blue triangle here. And of course, the area of this triangle is gonna give us the producer surplus and it equals one half 10 by 10, right? So each, the vertical dimension is $10 and the horizontal dimension is a quantity of 10 units. So the area of that triangle is one half 10 by 10, which, of, which is of course $50. So the producer surplus when the price is $10 is gonna be $50 for this firm with this supply curve, okay? So that's what it is when, when, the, when the price is 10, but what about if the price becomes 20? Well, if the price is 20, then that means they're gonna to wanna to supply a different quantity, right? And I haven't marked that in here, so let me put it in real fast. But the, the quantity they're going to want to supply when the price is $20 happens to also uh, be 20, right? And so now the producer surplus is going to be a much larger triangle, right? So again, the producer surplus is everything below the price and above the supply curve, all the way up to the quantity that's supplied, right? So they're going to supply 20 units when the price is, is $20. And so this triangle outlined in red that will be the producer surplus when the price is 20. Right? So when the price is 20, the producer surplus is the red triangle, the, the triangle outlined in red. And the area of that triangle, well, the dimensions of the triangle are $20 uh, horizontally and then vertically uh, 20 units. So the area of that triangle is one half $20 times 20, which comes out to $200, right? So we see that the producer surplus grows to $200 when the uh, price is $20, which, which is going to induce them to supply 20 units at that price. And, and so we see that the change in producer surplus, which is what we asked ourselves at the very beginning, is that producer surplus went from $50 to $200 from the price changing from $10 to $20, which means uh, that the producer surplus, of course, increased by $150, right? Okay, thank you very much for watching.